Hello everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Nights Live. I'm Cameron Ezer and well, hoop season is among us. The winter season debuts five different teams here at the Bishop School and we're going to start here in the Eva May Fleet Center where your boys varsity basketball team, well, they went 3-2 and two over the Thanksgiving break in a tournament and started a new one just a week ago. The Baron Matador Classic where on Tuesday they faced the Mira Mesa Marauders and on Friday, they faced Morse High School. Let's see how they fared in those two matchups and if they could extend their record to 5-2 and two on the season. Playing in their very first game of the season, the Marauders got a rude awakening as the Knights jumped on them early. Anthony Wood delivering a tray ball in the early going. Just a few plays later, senior to senior, cash that one in from downtown. Graham Cartwright, the three ball, was working for your Knights early with their first four buckets being from deep. And transition was strong to 28 points off turnovers as Tony came up with the steal and the lay-in. He had a game-high 14 on the day. And more steals led to a wider margin at halftime. Ryan Nagel with the deuce, making it 31-18 to at the end of the half. I spoke to Coach Nick Levine about tournament play. Games are funky. You're playing back-to-back -back without practice in between. Our goal is just to, to, we talk about, we're either getting better or we're getting worse. And there's no in-between. And a better overall game was played by the Knights as Chris finished that one in traffic and then would proceed to move almost 20 feet further than the third for three, giving him 12 on the day. And with this drive-by with the left, Tony put this game to rest and Dom soon after finished it off, giving the Knights a 68-47 win. Three Knights finished in double digits, scoring the third, being Zach White with 11. Now moving on to the 0-1 Morse Tigers, and it was pressure from the Knights that tamed the Tigers early. One of the Knights' 11 steals on the game by R.J. Faltinski, followed by a great example of the extra pass. Tic-tac-toe, White to Wood DeRose for the deuce. And then just a play later, the hustle by Dash Sai set up a pump by Chris. And look what I found, R.J. Faltinski for two of his 10 on the day. And momentum stayed with the home team throughout. Tony draining a three from deep. He finished with nine points and a plus 33 overall in plus minus. Junior Zach White went 10-8 and six with two steals. And Cam Azir at 11 with this splash to give the Knights a spark off the bench and to cap off the second quarter. Chris Rose, not in my house, giving the Knights a 40-15 to lead going into the break. And not much would change in the second half of play as RJ laid it in for two after some good ball movement. But hold on, Zach White, abracadabra, Rose with the slam dunk. Let's see that one more time. White brought out the, his bag of tricks and it ain't even Halloween anymore. And Chris with a vicious two-hand slam. I talked to Coach Nick Levine about the team as a whole after starting the season 5-2. End of the day, we're going to put on the same color jersey. End of practice, we're going to put on the same color jersey because we are one team. Um, but our togetherness, our effort, the energy, the focus, every time we're, we've been around each other, it's been pretty good. And so I'm excited to continue to work with this group. And then as we start developing maybe a team identity and who we are, what do we do best, uh, you know, we'll learn more about ourselves as we go through these tournament seasons. And due to cancellation, your Knights will face the Cavers sometime next week. Then they will travel to Montgomery to face the Aztecs on Thursday the 6th at 7.30. And finally 7.30 at home against the visiting Crawford Colts on the 7th. Here's Anthony Wood. Overall, this, it has been a great start to the season. and I'm ready to finish it off strong with our teammates and coaches. And for everyone here at the Bishop School and Knights Live, I'm Cameron Ezaire.